The physics education study program at UN Sharif Hidayatullah Jakarta is located in the buffer zone of Indonesia's capital city. The city is part of the Greater Jakarta Metropolitan Area, which is undergoing infrastructure development. The Tadris Physics Study Program at the Faculty of Tabia and Keguru and UIN Sayarif Hidayatullah Jakarta, which was established in 2001 and began accepting students in 2003, has a mission to produce qualified physics educators for high schools and research assistants in the field of physics education. In addition, this study program also offers additional profiles for its students. Students can prepare themselves to become science educators in junior high schools, laboratory managers in senior or junior high schools, managers of educational institutions, or even entrepreneurs in the field of education or physics. With these various options, the Tadris Physics Study Program provides wide opportunities for its students to develop and contribute to the fields of education and physics. Our study program has a vision to become a superior and competitive study program in development of physics education and physics sciences with international standards that integrated scientific, Islamic, and Indonesian values in 2045. The vision of the Tadris Physics Study Program is implemented through the mission. One, organizing education and teaching to produce physics education graduates who are able to integrate physics technology and Islamic values. Two, carrying out research and development in the field of physics and learning. Three, disseminating the results of studies in the field of physics education through community service activities. Four, disseminating the results of studies in the field of physics education through publication activities, either through journals or proceedings through reputable seminars, national and international conferences. Tadris Physics Study Program has competent teaching staff in the field of education and physics who are alumni of well-known universities at home and abroad such as the University of Education of Indonesia, Malang State University, Jakarta State University, Chungbuk National University, Institute of Technology Bandung, Institute of Technology 10 November, University of Indonesia, Bogor Agricultural University. We pondered on the true essence of education in shaping our future. Are we merely cramming information or is there a more profound, more holistic approach to learning? Welcome to a journey of understanding the outcome-based education curriculum, a revolutionary approach to education that focuses on achieving specific results or outcomes. Picture this. Instead of focusing solely on the content being taught, this model emphasizes what the learners can do with the knowledge they have acquired. It's about the application, the manifestation of the learned concepts in real-world scenarios. The outcome-based education curriculum is a student-centered model, and it's not just about the traditional chalk and talk method. It provides a comprehensive 145 credit system or 217 and a half European credit transfer and accumulation system, ECTS points. This structure ensures that students cultivate critical thinking skills and practical abilities, essential tools in today's dynamic world. Imagine a lecture process that is not just a one-way street, but an interactive, innovative experience. This approach allows learners to engage with the material, encouraging active participation rather than passive absorption. And the learning doesn't stop there. The curriculum includes a variety of activities such as laboratory courses, practical tasks, project work, independent tasks, structured tasks, and internships. These elements provide learners with the opportunity to apply their knowledge in different settings, fostering a deeper understanding of the concepts. But the beauty of the outcome-based education curriculum goes beyond academic skills. It seeks to integrate various aspects of knowledge, including educational science and physics knowledge. However, it doesn't neglect the importance of values. This curriculum incorporates Islamic values, ensuring that the learner's moral and ethical development is not left behind. In summary, the outcome-based education curriculum is a holistic approach to education. It focuses on cultivating critical thinking and practical skills through a 145 credit system or 217 and a half ECTS points. It promotes an interactive, innovative lecture process and provides a variety of learning activities. 
Above all, it integrates educational science, physics knowledge and Islamic values, ensuring a well-rounded development for learners. The outcome-based education curriculum is not just about learning, it's about understanding, applying and growing. It's about preparing the learners not just for the exams, but for life itself. So as we navigate the complexities of the 21st century, perhaps it's time we redefine our understanding of education. After all, the future depends on it. With their commitment and competence, the Physics Tadras lecturers conduct research and service in the field of education and physics, collaborating with various parties according to the developed roadmap. The research and service results have been published through seminars and reputable national and international journals. Students of the Tadras Physics Study Program come from various parts of Indonesia, starting from the western tip in Asa, across West Sumatra, Jambai, Bengkulu, South Sumatra, and Lampung. They also come from Banten, West Java, Central Java, and East Java on the island of Java. Even from West, Central, and East Kalimantan, as well as Nusa Tenggara, South and North Sulawesi, Halmahera, all the way to Papua in the East, are represented. The alumni of this study program have spread widely, reaching every corner of the country. This proves that this study program has made a positive impact throughout Indonesia. This program accepts new students through several selection channels, including SNBP, selection based on students report cards and performance by the Higher Education Entrance Test Institute, LTMPT, of Kemdikbud. Span PTKIN, selection based on student records and performance by the Ministry of Religious Affairs. UTBK SNBT, computer-based written test administered by the Education Testing Management Center, BPPP, of the Ministry of Research and Technology. SSEUMPTKIN, electronic selection system of the Ministry of Religious Affairs. UTBK MAM Diary, computer-based written test of SMMPT Enbarot. SPMB Man Diary, independent selection of new students. Each pathway has different selection procedures and criteria, allowing prospective students from different backgrounds to join. Each year sees a significant increase in applicants, reflecting the growing appeal of the program. Tadras Physics Study Program at Sairif Hidechala State Islamic University Jakarta is committed to supporting the development of students' interests, talents, reasoning, welfare, and professionalism through various coaching service programs. Within the study program, students are provided with a lively and diverse range of non-academic coaching activities, from sports such as futsal, badminton, and Pencak Silat, to science clubs covering astronomy, languages, programming, and Olympiads. All of these bring color and life to the student experience, enrich their knowledge, and help them grow into holistic and well-rounded individuals. Many student activity units are available to develop students' interests and talents such as Sayahid Theater, Student Choir, PSM, Student Sports Federation, FORSAR, Student Music Community, KMMRAK, Photography Student Community, KMF, Kalasatra, Foreign Languages Association, Bahasa Flat. Many achievements have been made by students at the local, regional, national, and international levels. There are at least 338 student achievements at the national level. The achievements at the national level are quite dominating. And at the international level, there are at least 69 achievements. The following are some of the achievements that have been made by students at the national level. Achievement at the international level
Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm Anugrah Azhar, a graduate of physics education at Queen Jakarta from the class of 2010. I'd like to highlight the excellent curriculum and dedicated lecturer have influenced my academic and professional career. The well-designed curriculum and experienced lecturer not only deepened my understanding about physics concept, but also played a big role in shaping my academic and professional career, particularly as a lecturer and researcher. After I graduated from physics education, I continued my master's degree at the University of Indonesia and now I'm pursuing my PhD degree at the University of Manchester. Thank you very much and I'm very grateful to be part of physics education at Queen Jakarta. With an efficient study period of less than four years and a short waiting period of less than three months, our alumni have spread widely, contributing to various fields of work. They become inspiring teachers and lecturers, innovative researchers and research assistants, reliable school laboratory managers, and visionary entrepreneurs in the field of education. Some have even chosen the path of entrepreneurship or a career in industry. We invite you to join us and be part of this incredible journey. Be a part of our community and together we will reach the pinnacle of success by moving the country forward together.